So another thing on the technology side is that data is an asset, right? And the more that an organization and analysts in the organization and marketers start to think about data as something that you paid for, you created, you should own, it's important, the easier it will be to deal with changes, right? A number of the approaches that will need to be taken over the next few years, similar to the SEO example, when it was, you know, we were talking to clients saying, some things just no longer exist. What can we do instead? The what can we do instead in the cookie world, especially for first party cookies, is having first party data. Um, historically, most organizations that have invested in, you know, ad tech tools and MarTech tools and things like Google Analytics, they were paying money to create data, it lived in these products, and if they ever turn the products off, they just lose their data. The data itself is solid gold. It needs to be repatriated by the business. It needs to be valued. It needs to be kept clean and maintained. And organizations with depth and breadth and quality of owned first-party data will have competitive advantage over the next few years. Additionally, we got a first party data like it's 1999. And I know it's a, it's a Bowie conversation, but I like the pun. I like prints too. Um, but first party data, as I just mentioned, isn't just stuff that comes from a first party cookie. Uh, it is anything that was given to you by a stakeholder or customer with explicit consent. That is call center data. That is responses to catalogs and surveys. That is people who interact with the live chat on your website. That is definitely people that logged into your website or app. That first party data is absolutely solid gold and needs to be not just created with increasing frequency, but captured, collected, governed, loved. It's a big, big deal. And it's no longer something we can just take for granted because in a cookie world, we need to go out and get it for ourselves. 